It is 7pm Eastern. Welcome to Sky National News. These are the top stories. The countdown begins with a federal election set for August the 21st. Be a tough, close contest and I'm not taking anything about it for granted. Battle lines drawn as Julia Gillard pushes a campaign slogan of moving forward. We'll end the waste, we'll repay the debt, we'll stop the new taxes and we'll stop the boats. The opposition leader promises to bring change under his coalition government. A shock decision from Christine Nixon to quit as head of the Bushfire Reconstruction Authority. In sport, the Warriors battle the storm for a place in the NRL's top four. Sunday's weather, cold showery winds spreading across the south, clear in the east, also the west. This is National News. Good evening. Julia Gillard has ended weeks of intense speculation announcing Australia will go to an election on August the 21st. Just three weeks after deposing Kevin Rudd, the Labor leader will seek a mandate on a platform of moving forward. The coalition leader Tony Abbott's pitch is to stand up for Australia and real action. Do stay with us still to come on the national news. Fines for the firms responsible for London's Buncefield oil depot blast. And in sport with Matt Shervington, Collingwood snaps the Saints' winning streak. This is Sky News. Tonight's top stories. Australians will be heading to the polls on August the 21st after Prime Minister Julia Gillard visited the Governor-General today asking her to dissolve Parliament for a federal election. Ms Gillard makes her campaign message clear with Labor pushing a slogan of moving forward with a willingness to embrace new things. Meanwhile, the opposition leader urges Australians to change the government in the upcoming election, promising the coalition would end the incompetence of Labor. Tomorrow's weather, cold showery winds spreading across the south, clear in the east and the west. Well, after her meeting with Julia Gillard this morning, the Governor-General flew to France to honour the Australian diggers of Fromel. The men were killed 94 years ago in our country's worst military disaster. Now they'll be permanently remembered with the dedication of a new cemetery. A photo exhibition in the church at Fromel in northern France and John and Margaret Lewis from South Australia take a painful walk through history. Mind boggling. Very, very sad. And opposition leader Tony Abbott will be joining us in the morning on Australian Agenda for his first in-depth interview of the election campaign. That's Mr Abbott on Sky News at 8.30 Eastern Time tomorrow morning. And for continuing coverage of today's campaign speeches from both leaders, simply press red on your remote and look for our dedicated channel on Sky News Multiview. And that's all the sport for now, Nina. Captain might have a good career in the 2020, though, if he tries to hit every ball I for six. I think that's where he's headed. <laughs> Easy money, he reckons. Thanks very much Thanks. for that, Matt. Taking a look at the weather for tomorrow in the north, mostly sunny in Brisbane, a possible shower in Cairns and sunny in Darwin. Frosty start, then sunny in Canberra, Dubbo and also Tamworth. Mostly sunny conditions in Sydney and a sunny one for Newcastle. Across the remainder of the southeast, possible shower in Hobart, rain in Ballarat, rain developing in Melbourne and also Albury and showers are forecast for Adelaide. In the west, mostly sunny in Kalgoorlie and also Perth, possible shower in Albany and the sun will be shining in Geraldton. Let's take a look at the weather for New Zealand for Sunday. A clearing shower in Auckland, drizzle clearing in Wellington and Christchurch, cloudy conditions are forecast for Dunedin. You're watching the national news. The top stories are just ahead and also coming up, we'll look at how this election fight will play out in Sydney.